Another historic day for Tunisia, once again proving itself the exception in the Arab world. In a region where rulers tend to be either monarchs or military-backed strongmen, Tunisians vote to elect their own president. Ousted President Zin al Abidin Ben Ali used to win unbelievable scores of up to 99%, but today, finally, the result is not a foregone conclusion. People in the Arab world will, will, will watch Tunisia as a laboratory where we can do it. I mean, uh, it's not a myth, it's not, it can be a reality, and uh, elections and democracy uh, are, are possible in an Islamic country. It's the third election since Tunisia's 2011 uprising. The first was for the Constituent Assembly, and last month was for the Parliament. But those who did turn up said it's important for citizens to stay engaged. For sure, they should realise it's a historic day, and they should participate in this, if only so that each one plays his or her role in changing things, in helping to make history. Changer un peu à l'histoire. The low turnout is in part due to the fact that less than half of Tunisians enrolled to vote. Only voters who pre-registered either in 2011 or in July, August this year are able to vote today. They must go to the correct polling station and find their name on the list. Security was strong, though there are reports of violence between supporters of Beji Kaiser Sepsi and current president Monsef Mazuki in Kiev, Sfax and Nabu. But it was it a was fight. It was, people were fighting between them. It's, it's really violent, it's really, uh, uh, it's really a big threat for people that are coming in order to vote. Despite the challenges, many praised Tunisian security forces for helping to keep the peace, and overall, the vote went smoothly. Yasmin Ryan, CCTV, Tunis, Tunisia.